welcome to part 2 of this painting trees tutorial. In this part of the video, we will try to paint a more Danish looking tree, a tree that is more rotten or broken down by the elements. The other tree we painted was, was just a classical brown fresh tree. So on this tree we will be focusing more on the grayish hues and not as much on the browns. So we will do that and we will be making a lot of dry brushing. And again, just a normal medium dry brush from the Grinch Workshop will be defined. If you've got a different or softer dry brush, that will be fine as well. So let's get going. We will be doing again with some some gray. I will put the colors in in the description of this video. So you don't have to write anything down right now. So let's get going. Again, like we did on the last video, if you saw it, if you didn't, go back and see it and come back to this one. But again, we will hit the uppermost or the raised areas of the the, of this tree. Like the other one we just started with a burnt umber. You could start with black if you didn't want to do that. Then you wouldn't get um, the grayish tones that I like. But you could do that just as well. And just simply dry brush it. Again, always, like always when you're dry brushing, try not to go against the texture, but with the texture of the miniature to get the best result. And this will be done rather soon, or rather fast, I have to say, would be the more correct word. You see there, a dark brown and a dark gray. Let's get a lighter grey. This is just a Dawnstone from Citadel. You don't need Citadel paint for this. You can use Army Paint or Vallejo or whatever color of brand you want. Just keep using the same airbrush. No reason to, to go ahead and clean it. But this time, just dry brush softer and don't cover as much of the miniature or tree or whatever you're dry brushing. It's always the same strategy. That's also why dry brushing is so fast and effective because you always use the same same technique. Almost no matter what you're dry brushing. Are you a little lighter? But we still need to go lighter. And I will see if I can post some pictures of dead and rotten trees in the videos as we go along. So we can see if we can hit something more realistic. Right now we are only painting the bark. The bark is not usually the, the part of the tree that actually gets broken down so much by the light itself but normally just peels off and exposes the the core of the wood but we are not always aiming for 100 percent realism but something that looks cool on our miniatures and on the table so we will keep doing that There we go. Leave it lighter. And then we will actually go to a, a brown for this, or brownish color, rack out flesh. Just to give it a bit of brown hue back in the in the wood. 
don't overdo this as you will lose some of the the gray that you've just painted There we go. And of course, as always, at the end of the video, we will take some nice tool pictures with proper lighting. And now we will just use this is Screaming Skull. You can use a more brownish color if you want. I like them very light because I usually wash them a little darker to get some of the to get some more light into the into the, the color but uh, today we will be starting with this one and then only working with with the grayish to to make it look more worn or rotten because in out in nature when tree the when trees start to kind of break down it's usually done either by bacteria or something eating the tree and if that doesn't happen, the sun will break it down in that process. In that process, the, the tree itself will turn into those gray colors instead of the normal, beautiful, woodish colors you see in, in well kept wood. And this will just need a few minutes to, to dry. And then just like I did with the outside of the tree, we will just do a little bit of dry brushing. But before that, I will just do a quick wash when it's dry with Seraph and Sibia. And when, when that is all dry as well, I will come back to you and we will do the last part of the, the street. And I'll see you then. Hello, welcome back. So now we got the, the inside of the, the tree painted up to start with. And we got the wash and it's all dry. So now we just have to make it look a little more decomposed, worn. So we need to get rid of some of this very fresh color. And for that, I'll be using two different kinds of grays, both from Citadel. That means Stratum Gray and Gray Sia. Again, you don't need these Citadel colors. You can use whatever colors you've got, whatever brand you've got, whatever brand you like. And for this, we will be use, using a layering brush. This is from Winston Newson Series 7. You don't need a fancy brush like this. <laughs> this is actually very worn. But I like to paint with it, even though the tip is not what it used to be. So again, let's see if we can hit some of the upper raised areas. Try not to, try not to paint too thick of a layer. But something that you can actually see what's underneath between the uh, through it. So don't feel afraid to thin your paint. Again, this is not a very difficult technique. It is just a little time consuming. If you are strapped for time, you could dry brush it. It will probably look fine. This is the, the first part. Let's now choose the lighter gray. If you want to, you can go and make a very thin 
in layering and go many 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 layers to create a lot of beautiful transitions but since this is just going to be a part of a base and I even though I like beautiful bases I don't like spending as much time doing the base as I do the miniature so this will just be fast and easy see the uppermost part of the, the, the wood, the ones, uh, the area that will be most mostly hit by the sunlight and turn grayish. And that is what we've done now. I will take some more clear pictures for the uh, shore, uh, for the grand reveal or whatever you want to call it. You could stop here. And I will for this video, but if I want to decide myself, I would make some some mass effect to make it really pop. Or right now it's grayish and brownish, and that is fine. But I would most certainly put some moss on it. If you want to know how, just take my mossing video. I will put it uh, in a little link in the description or in the video. I'll just figure it out. Other than that, thank you for watching the video. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos, if you just want to support me. Put a comment in the comment section if you want to see more like this, if you want to see something entirely different, feel free to say so. Other than that, see you in the next video.